Hey everybody, welcome! tech for all channel Michael here and I'm so glad to see you. Before we go on topic, would you help me? It's gonna take a few seconds. Now tell me which one do you prefer? Right now I'm speaking through my primary microphone which is the Auna, it's by the way a German brand, USB based, pretty nice, it's kind of alternative to the Rode USB microphone but it's, it's called Auna, so do you like better the Auna or this little Rode microphone I've bought last week and it's right now attached to my camera. Uh, it's, it's a small one, I can't remember the exact model but it's their oldest, smallest microphone. Uh, and you know, probably Rode is uh, one of the best companies in the world for making microphones, Australian based, with really phenomenal options. So tell me, which of both do you like? Hit the pause, leave a comment, help me out. And I thank you for that. On topic now, today we will be modifying the configuration of the DJI Phantom 3 SE, which is the latest from the third series of uh, the DJI Phantom. And it reminds me a little bit of the video I have released last summer about how to switch from CE mode into FCC. I guess people who are watching this from the United States wouldn't be too interested, but for people like me who live in Europe, that's quite a struggle. I'll tell you about my experience. I bought the DJI Spark, which apparently here costs a lot. I started to fly and I lost range after almost 200 meters, which was quite a shock and I was of course expecting something close to 2 kilometers, which never happened until I found a way to switch from CE mode into FCC. We should of course respect all the regulations that DJI are implying in their software, in their applications and firmware, because they're all based on local restrictions that different countries have. And quite obviously we are going to get more and more restrictions to fly with UAVs. Um, if not today then, sooner or later that's going to happen. So do enjoy when you're flying with your drone or helicopter or plane for as long as we don't have that many restrictions. Everything we are going to use is an Android-based smartphone and a few different applications. Let's get started. Before going any further, let me tell you why I decided to bring this video to your attention. A friend of mine has decided to buy a new drone. The item arrived he started to fly and his complaint was that he couldn't reach more than 200 meters. Go home. And I knew that has something to do with the range. Interestingly, when DJI have released the Phantom 3 SE, it was only for the Chinese market. So it had only one option. At some point, DJI probably felt the pressure coming from the Chinese wholesale websites because you could easily buy the 3 SE for a really good price. And in terms of specifications, I'm going to make a more detailed video of that, but the 3 SE is a kind of a hybrid. It has some of the functionality of the advanced version with some more basic stuff. So you have a 4K camera, a stunning 4K camera. However, you don't have light bridge. It's just a boosted Wi-Fi, the very same protocol that DJI Spark is using. And now I'm sharing all this information because I want to highlight that in older versions of the app and the firmware, at the time the Phantom 3 SE was not FCC and CE certified, it was just one mode working flawlessly. This tutorial is based on the steps given by a user called PsychoAndy in the PhantomPilots.com forums. So all the credits of you flying in extended range go to Psycho Andy. And this is everything that you need to do. Step one, uninstall any DJI Go app. Remove the app cache, the app data, all the corresponding folders on the local storage, everything that refers to DJI. Step number two, install an app called Fake GPS. It's available in the Play Store, for free. In order to properly run it, you might have to enable developer options on your phone. Just tap seven times on the build version of your Android and voila, developer options available. Go ahead, find mock locations and enable fake GPS as part of the exceptions. Make sure to point to a random location in the United States of America. This is going to make your phone think that you're actually located into the USA. 
One more thing, make sure your GPS is set to GPS only. Step 3. Install DJI GO 3.1.23. The link is in the description below or on our website techforall.net. 4. Turn the receiver on, turn the drone on, let them bind, connect to the DJI GO app, go into camera mode and wait. At some point the transmitter is going to reboot itself. It's because it has just realized it is in FCC mode, the faked app has done its job, and it's going to take a couple of minutes until the transmitter is back on. Wait until that happens, go into the DJI GO settings and point to the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. If you see 11 channels, you're already in FCC mode, but our job is not done yet. Step 5. Uninstall this version of the app. It was only good for switching between CE into FCC. So make sure to remove it, as well as any cache and folders as agreed in step 1. As a last step, install DJI GO 318. It's probably the latest version which makes no difference between CE and FCC mode, and it would never ask you about that. So after you're done with it and after you confirm that you have 11 bands in your 2.4 Wi-Fi settings, you can easily remove the fake GPS as well. And you're all set. From that point on, your DJI Phantom 3 SE is going to take advantage of the full possible range that the transmitter can give. I could confirm that this procedure easily works with the latest firmware which right now is as of December 2017. The only thing you shouldn't do is to update your DJI GO app. I really hope this video was easy to follow and understandable. For any questions, please get in touch with me using the comment section below. You may pay a visit to our Facebook page or find us at techforall.net. That's all for now, happy flying and I'll see you soon.